try this again. There's a spider right above my head. I'm going to freak out. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. What's up guys, it's Anna. Been a long time since I've been on here, but I wanted to get back here to talk about something. Recently, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Uh, don't know how that one was missed for all of these years, but here we are, we made it. I grew up with a lot of siblings and we traveled a lot, so I think that really helped me develop some social skills that maybe I wouldn't have learned had I not been in those situations. But I definitely, definitely still struggle. And it's interesting because before I was diagnosed, I felt crazy, honestly. It's like I could tell that everybody else saw the world one way and I saw it completely differently. I could see all these different patterns and ways that people worked, like how they worked but I just like didn't understand why they were that way. And I felt like an outsider, to be honest. After I was diagnosed, it was actually quite a big relief at first. It's like, okay, I've been feeling crazy for all this time because people keep saying, oh, you're normal, so you should be able to do X, Y, and Z. And I just like couldn't do it. And when you're in that situation, it's like, it's on you, you know? Um, you're just doing something wrong. You're not trying hard enough. And then when I was diagnosed, I'm like, oh, okay, well, there's a rhyme and reason to everything that's been happening. Like, thank God, you know? It's not that I can't just get my shit together. It's good because I can see the world in certain ways that other people can't. And a lot of times it comes across to people who don't know that I have Asperger's as uh, sort of like deep, insightful, and uh, I'm good at giving advice because when people come to me and they say things like, oh, I like this person and they, I think they like me, they're doing this and they're acting like this and they look like this and they tell me this and blah, 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 blah. They're telling me all the social cues. So it's easy for me to take all of the knowledge I have from observing people and tell them, oh, okay, you should do this, this, and this. They feel this, this, and this. This is what they're trying to do um, and give them good advice. But when it gets turned around on me, it's different because if I'm the person who's in the situation, I'm having to pick up on all of those different social cues that the person would have told me, plus a bunch of other ones. And processing all of those at the same time just gets to be a lot. It very, it's very complicated because people are just complicated and uh, it gets really hard to read. And a lot of the times I can't determine what's important and what's not. And so I just don't know what somebody wants or what I should be doing. Even when I do connect with people, they tend to not stick around that long. I had different reasons why my entire life. When I was younger, it's just, oh, we're all growing up. Everyone changes as they grew up. Whenever I got to college, it was like, oh, I'm in this long-term relationship. And then also, to be honest, I just like didn't feel like I really fit in with all the people that were around me. I just felt like I like didn't belong. And then when I moved out here to LA, I thought that it was just that LA has a really fast turnover of friendships, relationships, people you know, because everybody He's just kind of trying to use you as a stepping stone to get somewhere and you never know what's real and what's fake friendships. It turns out it wasn't any of those things. I mean, there may be a little bit of truth in them, but it's not entirely those things. The main thing is that my brain is just wired differently than theirs. It's really difficult for me to keep those relationships because socially, I don't know how to. I don't necessarily know what's socially appropriate. I don't like using the word appropriate because it's like appropriate, inappropriate. It sounds like kind of dirty, but I actually mean it in a sense of like what society deems to be normal. It sounds really strange to some people that know me because a lot of people perceive me to be like a pretty social person, somebody who can carry a conversation fairly well, but what they don't realize is that in almost all of those situations, I'm like riddled with anxiety inside. As I come to terms with my diagnosis, it's interesting because I don't really know if it's a good or bad thing. It's kind of both because it's good because now that I know I can read up on things and I can understand like why I do certain things, why I act certain ways, why I think certain ways, but it's bad because I want other people to understand that as well. And whenever I tell somebody about it and say, oh, it's because I have Asperger's, instead of seeing it as an explanation, they see it as an excuse. And I don't really know how to fix that. It's one of those social things that I'm gonna have to work on and get help on. But I just wanted to talk about it because it's something that has always been sort of a problem in my relationships because when I do something wrong, I have a reason to do it. I really can't remember any time I've done something malicious on purpose. It's weird because the way my brain is wired, I 
think I'm doing something that is fine, something that they might like even, but that's not how they see it and likely the rest of the world sees it. So I have to get somebody to explain to me their perspective on it so that I can learn from it and understand what is socially appropriate. Still, even after this, the bad thing is that it might happen multiple times. You might screw up the same thing multiple times in different ways because after you talk about it once, you think you know how to fix it and so you do X, Y, and Z to fix it. Well, turns out A, B, and C is what you were supposed to do to fix it. So you just screwed up the same thing again. One thing I realized that helps me with this personally is if you can run out a list with the person who's, who's saying that you're doing something wrong of what to do to get a certain outcome. If I do X, Y, and Z, then it'll make you feel a certain way. If I do X, Y, and Z, then this will happen over here. But it makes sure the way you're fixing the problem is with X, Y, and Z because X, Y, and Z is how you fix the problem, not A, B, and C. It can be difficult in those moments to get somebody to agree to do that list with you because when someone's hurt, maybe that's not the space that they're in to do that. They might need time to process their feelings and a lot of the time people with Asperger's, because we think so logically, it's like we just want to move through and get this over with because whether we sit here in our feelings or whether we talk about what we did wrong, how to fix it and what corrections should be made so it doesn't happen again in the, this five minutes or in five hours from now, we're gonna have the same results. So let's just speed up the process, right? Um, that's how my brain works at least. And I think that's because of the Asperger's. But if you can get your partner, your friend, your family to do that list with you, it will help a lot. A little bit of an issue with this is that when somebody's upset with you, they don't, they don't wanna walk you through why it's upsetting. A lot of the time they just say, oh, you should just know. And it's difficult to explain to people that I can't just know. And it's really frustrating and upsetting to be honest. A lot of the time I would give just about anything to not have Asperger's and just understand and be able to communicate the way other people do because it's just, you're trying so hard and it's just not working out the way that you want it to. And I know at least for me, and I would assume other Aspies as well, it hurts us just as much as it hurts you because it's about intentions and my intentions were good. So I want you to see that and I want you to see that I'm trying. And it's hard for me to understand sometimes when somebody isn't ready to forgive Give you if you explain to them that your intentions were good and you did what you did because you thought it was okay or even good it was just the wrong thing it's just you didn't know what the right thing was and there's no way to know that uh, without someone teaching you so it can be really hard to understand when somebody's still upset with you after that because you wouldn't be upset with them because logically it doesn't make sense and a lot of people with Asperger's think very logically I can understand if you hurt someone right if I hurt you then I hurt you and you to feel your feelings but I'm really sorry about it and I didn't mean to and I just need help figuring out what the right thing to do is so that next time I can do better, you know? Next time I can get it right. I've been doing a lot of research recently because I want to try and learn what to do to be better for the people around me. And one thing that I was coming across a lot was that you should try to understand the reasoning behind certain social actions, like the reason why people do the things that they do. And when I was reading about this, I realized I actually don't know a lot of the whys behind social interactions. I just learned through time as learned behaviors, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how you're supposed to act. This is the reaction you're supposed to have. But whenever something happens that it's, it's a similar situation and the same exact reaction doesn't work the next time, it's because you don't understand the reasoning behind it. So I wrote down a lot of questions to run by somebody close to me, hopefully in the next week or so. And it kind of just revolves around the, the why. Why do people do this? Why is this expected of me? Why do people have this reaction to this? Things like that. I really think this is going to help me a lot because the way that my brain works, I can see how the world works and how people work on sort of a very broad plane. But when it comes to individualized experiences, I have trouble understanding on that level. And I think it'll help me be able to see more perspectives from a more individualized point of view. And one thing that I really do like about myself is that I can see things from a lot of different perspectives. For instance, whenever somebody hurts me, the first thing that I do after feeling whatever emotion comes up is think about it from their perspective and try to justify why they did what they did. Because if I can justify and understand why they did what they did and why they made the choices that they did, then it lessens the issue and I'm not as upset because now it's something that we can both have understanding of both perspectives and we can talk about why you feel the way you do, I feel the way I do, and 
fix it for the future, you know? And I think that that's one thing that I really wish everybody else in the world had. That's, that would be probably the main part of Asperger's that I would give everybody if it were possible. That's about it for now. I just wanted to touch base on this stuff. I hope that if you have Asperger's or somebody you love does, that this has maybe helped you understand things from both sides a little bit and also hopefully opened your mind to some different uh, possibilities of ways you can work with that person. Because if you really do love them and want to keep them in your life, working with them on those things and communicating well is gonna be the only way that's gonna work out. And I promise you that if you stick around and do those things, Things, they're gonna appreciate you so much because a lot of people tell you oh I'm always gonna be here for you I'm never gonna leave you and such and that's not actually really something that we're very used to because we don't do great socially and people just go whenever things get weird. So yeah, let me know if any of these things work for you or if you have any other things that might work for me, leave a comment below. I'm gonna be posting more videos on here, maybe about Asperger's, maybe about traveling, queer content, I don't know, but I'm gonna get back on here more often. So definitely hit the subscribe button, like this video, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Cause if we can get through this, we can get through anything.